Hey YouTube, what's going on? Uh, today we're going to be doing a video on how to dip your wheels. I've got my buddy's BMW uh, wheels behind me and right now they're cleaned off and they're stock, they're, uh, they're stock silver paint. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to go from this, so a stock finish, to a matte black finish using Plasti Dip. So over here I have my buddy's wheels. Um, they're already cleaned up. I removed all the brake dust, all the dirt and everything. So right now, we're ready to put some dip on. I have my dip submerged in uh, some nice warm water so that when we get ready to go dip, um, the finish is gonna come out nice and smooth because everything inside is nice and warmed up. All you gotta do is shake it up and it's gonna be good to spray. Now it's very important to make sure that the entire wheel or whatever surface you're using is nice and clean. Not only that, it has to be dry. If the area you're dipping is wet, the plastic dip won't grab onto and it won't bite and keep on there nice and good. Um, if you keep the wheel nice and wet, the finish will start coming up after a while. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to go around all the wheels and I'm going to dry them all up so we can start dipping them. So if you guys are dipping your wheels and, you won't, and you're considering keeping your, uh, your emblem nice and clean and not dipped, it's easy to do this. So all you got to do is get the wheel and from the back side back here, you just have to push on the center cap and then it'll come out. Now if there's any water inside here between the wheel and the tire, if there's any water in there and it's still wet, you, what you can do is you can get a heat gun if it's hard to get to and you can spray and you can get a, all that area nice and heated up so the water evaporates. Now the last step before we actually get to dipping is masking off. So this wheel over here, what I did is I left a little bit of room on the outside perimeter of the wheel so you can get a nice thick uh, amount of plastic dip on here and peel it right off. This wheel over here, what I did is I got cue cards and I laid them on the outside perimeter of, uh, of the wheel. What I did is I stuck them in between the wheel and the tire. What I did with this wheel is I taped down everything. I masked off the inside lip of the tire, um, so I made sure that there wouldn't be any overspray onto the tire. What I'm doing for this wheel is I'm leaving it alone. Um, there's another method of taking the plastic dip off by letting it dry onto the sidewall and then rubbing it off. Now the reason why I did all these wheels a different way is because I've seen on the internet many different ways on how to dip your wheel. Now doing this, I'll be able to find out which one is better. So. Um, Enough stalling, what we're going to be doing now is going to get, grab the Plasti Dip and start dipping all of these wheels. For the first coat, what we're going to do is we're going to put a nice, nice light coat and even layer around the entire wheel. Um, you don't want to go too thick too soon because if you do, you're going to start getting some runs and you're going to ruin the finish right off the bat. So first, get your can, make sure it's nice and uh, warm and start shaking it up. Now if you don't shake up the can, before you start spraying, you might get clumps inside the spray um, and it's going to ruin the finish. So make sure that you shake every time that you put the can down. What I like doing first is starting off with the outside, doing the inner parts, and then doing the top afterwards. But don't forget, don't go too thick because if you do, you're going to start getting runs. Now as you can tell I'm starting off with the outside lip of the wheel and the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to make sure that the outside gets perfect coverage. Now this part is going to be the one part of the wheel that's going to be getting the most amount of abuse on so I want to make sure that it's nice and protected. You can tell now that I'm starting to do the one side of the spoke. I'm doing this so I have good coverage on all the spokes and make sure I don't miss anything. I'm now moving around to the other side of the spokes to make sure that I haven't missed any part of the wheel and to ensure that I don't have any silver coming through when I'm done plastic dipping. Now between each step and each spray, I always stop and shake the can and make sure that I have a good fan and good even coverage coming out of the can. Now I'm doing the top of the wheel, making sure the spokes are nice and dipped fill everything out and then I'm going to do around the hub. <clears throat> One good coat around the edge to make sure I've got nice protection and we're done for the top coat. 
Now you can still see some paint through the plastic dip. Like if you look on the sides of the spokes, you can still see some silver. And that's normal. The first coat, you don't want to go too thick. Uh, the reason why you want to go thin is because you need a nice layer for the next layers to adhere to. So after you're done, it should be glossy and it'll dry matte. So this is after I've done one coat. This, starts, this one here is starting to dry up. And moving my way this way, they're getting wetter and wetter because these ones here, I just finished. Now you can still see a little bit of silver underneath, but after the first coat, you're not looking for 100% coverage. So this is good. This is where we're supposed to be. So I'm going to let these dry up for another, you know, 10 minutes maybe. And, uh, and then we're going to start hitting it with the second coat. All right, guys. Now when you're dipping, you're going to realize that there's a couple different methods that you're going to prefer. If you try doing all, all of these different ways of masking, you're going to find one that you like the most. Um, the way that this style is right here, along with the other two down over there without the fans, without the uh, cue cards, is you can get in there and you can get in better in more of the angles. Um, this wheel, it's got a couple contours to it. So it's got a curved edge here, a top face, and then there's the spokes, so the ones on the side. Now with, the, with these cue cards here in the way, it's, uh, it's a little bit more difficult to get inside the spokes and get good coverage. So it's a lot, if you're inexperienced and you haven't dipped before, this method here is going to be a little bit harder. Now moving down to these two, um, the one over here that's masked completely, you can get in there and get inside all the grooves and you won't have, you won't have to worry about getting overspray on the tire. Now with, with the wheel over here, that's completely masked up, you don't have to worry about plastic dip getting on the, the sidewall of the tire. Um, you can just peel up the tape when you're done and you're going to have a nice clean tire, you know, no cleaning up, no hassle. Moving up to the last tire, the one that doesn't have any, uh, any protection, no masking off, nothing. It's going to be easy to remove the first little bit of plastic dip on the sidewall between the rubber and tire. But as soon as you get uh, closer to the edge, where you actually have your, uh, your tread, um, the, the plastic dip is going to be a little thin. Even if you go in there thick, you're going to have some dip that's going to be inside the grooves of the tire. So doing this method, um, I have two preferences. Either this one here, the one that's almost masked up to the edge of the rim, or this one over here, the one that's completely covered. So now that this tire and uh, this one too is dried up, I'm going to start hitting it with a second coat. Now this coat, this time we go around, we're going to make sure that all the hard to get areas are nice and coated. So for the second coat, you really want to make sure that you get all the hard to reach areas coated off. Now the places that I'm talking about is the curved lip and say the inside of the spokes. Those parts, because they're not up and down, um, getting to hit those with the Plasti Dip can can be a little bit more difficult. So that's why for this coat, you really want to try and get all those areas nice and plasti dipped. Now, just like the first coat, you want to make sure you cover everything. So now we're going to hit the face of the wheel and the outside perimeter of the wheel. Now, if you don't mask up the entire tire, you really want to make sure that you put enough plastic dip on the tire so when you have to peel it off, it comes off in one nice big piece. Guys, now whenever you're dipping your wheels, there's not exactly a a set amount of coats that you should put on. I've done three right now, uh, and I'm just about to put on my fourth. You don't need to go five, six, seven, whatever. As long as you're happy with the finish and you're, uh, you're satisfied with the amount of protection you're gonna have, you're good. Like right now, I'm on three coats with this wheel. Four coats with those ones, three with this one. And where I'm at right now, I'm happy. The entire wheel's covered, and right now I'm just gonna be putting another coat on um, for protection and to make it pop. Now the last coat that you do, you have to make sure you spray it on wet. If you don't, the finish is going to come out nice and spotty and it's not going to have a nice finish to it. So this wheel over here that we're looking at, it's got a nice finish on it and it's nice and reflective. 
you can see that there aren't really like spots or anything inside. It's nice and flat, just like the rim. So what you're going to want to do with your top coat is you're going to spray it on thick, just like that. That's the kind of finish you're looking for. So when this dries, it's going to dry nice and matte, and you're not going to have any spots or any defects inside the dip. So this is the kind of finish that I'm talking about. This is the result that you're looking for. So I'm going to spray uh, one, of these, uh, one of these spokes here. If you leave it looking like that, it's not going to finish. It's not going to have a nice finish to it. What you want is something like this. It's got a nice coat on it, nice and even, but it's not to the point where it's going to run. This spoke right here. So over here, if I were to leave that, that would turn out nice and rough. Same thing with this side over here. But with the, uh, the way we just coated this spoke, it's going to give a nice even finish, and that's what you're looking for. So after you're done dipping a wheel, this is the kind of finish that you're looking for. So it's nice and glossy, nice even coat. And when this dries, it's going to dry to a nice matte finish. So right now what we're doing is we're waiting for the wheels to dry. Uh, the top face of the rim has been completely dipped and it's got perfect coverage. Um, with the wheels off like what I have behind me, um, a good thing you can do is you can actually dip the barrel of the rim. The barrel of the rim is this part. It's the inside part of the wheel. Um, with the wheel off, you can get access to it and dip it completely. If you want to get that look when the wheel is mounted, uh, that the entire wheel is nice and black, now is your perfect time to do it. All you have to do is the same kind of steps we did before and paint the inside of the barrel. All right, guys, so now that the dip is all dried up, uh, what you can do is start removing the excess tape and Plasti Dip um, that's on the tire. So to start, just start pulling. Now, as you can see, when I took this off, um, there's a little bit of, there's a couple spots on the tire that still have a slight amount of plastic dip on it, like right here. So what you can do is start rolling it, and then once you have a big enough piece, you can pick it up and start peeling the dip off. And just like that, you can continue with the rest of the tire, all the dip will come off. Um, this method I find is actually quite easy as long as you make sure that you put enough dip on the outside lip to get a nice part to peel off. Now if it's too thin, you're going to have problems peeling it. Now moving to this tire, um, to, to remove the cue cards, you have to make sure before you take them out that there's no dip stuck between the cue card and the wheel. If there is, there's a chance that the, uh, that the dip will come off with it. So you have to be careful. Now the good thing about this one is that there's no real mess to take care of. All the mess and excess dip is on the outside lip of the, uh, of the cue cards. So just taking it off like that, nice and masked off. Nice and clean, perfect wheel, job done. Uh, now don't forget when you guys are doing this uh, to take the tape from the valve stem cover off. All right guys, so moving to this wheel, um, I left off a little bit of tape here on the corner for you to get up and start removing the tape from. If you use one big piece of tape, it's really easy to remove. However, when you get to this point, you still have one layer of tape to remove. Um, and a good way to get inside the cracks and everything at the tire to make sure you don't get any dip on the wheeler tire is you have to use small pieces. So removing this can be a pain. So just start off with uh, one piece of tape. Start peeling it back. Now you have to be careful. You have to do the same thing with the cue cards. If you get any, uh, if you get any of the tape stuck between, sorry, if you get any of the dip stuck between the cue card, or not cue card. Okay, can you guys stop? <laughs> Eat a dick. If you guys get any dip between the tape and the, and the tire, 
for the rim, the finish on the rim could actually come up and you'd have to start from scratch. So you have to be very careful and you have to inspect this area before you just start ripping and tearing. All right, so now that we're on the last wheel, uh, this one's a little bit more tricky to get the dip off of because there's nothing really to peel up. Um, on its own, there's not that much dip on the outside part of the tire. Uh, if you start driving, put this on the tire, or sorry, put this on the car and start driving. Um, over time, the dip will start coming off on the outside, and that's one way to remove it. Another way is just putting some force into it and rubbing it off. So obviously this one is the most time consuming, but if you want to do it this way, it can be done. All right guys, so we're almost done this. All you have to do now is put the center caps back on inside the wheel, and they're really easy. The way I like to do it is I like to get the logo facing the valve, the tire valve, put it on top, and give it a nice hit. Guys, I hope this DIY has helped you out. If you like what you see and you want to see more, don't forget to click that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let it go.